Sports. How far can school districts go in regulating the speech of students outside the school campus? Well, that is the question the United States Supreme Court addressed today in a case involving a Pennsylvania school district. KTKA political editor John Delano, who was also an attorney, explains what is at stake. So the issue is how much authority, if any, do schools have to regulate what kids say outside of school? This case involves a 14-year-old junior varsity cheerleader who used Snapchat on a weekend to express frustration at being rejected for varsity, posting a picture using her middle finger and writing, F school, F softball, F cheer, F everything, except she didn't say F, she spelled out the entire word. The school suspended her from cheerleading for a year, and her parents sued and won with help from Vic Walchek and the ACLU. But in the Supreme Court, the district argued the internet with social media extends the reach of schools to punish this conduct. When it comes to the internet, things like time and geography are meaningless, and it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to say that the same speech is somehow within the school's regulation if it's one foot on campus or one foot off campus. Allowing schools to discipline student speech outside campus is a power grab, says Walchek. They could also censor any speech that a student makes that is considered controversial, uh, unpopular, that is critical of the school. Young people need to have some place in their lives where they have full free speech rights. Um, and under the school's proposal, that would vanish. Attorney Robert McTiernan, who has represented local school districts for over 30 years, hopes the Supreme Court will provide clear guidance. The internet ex substantially expands the ability for speech, but also potentially for conduct like bullying and other things of that nature that could have a real adverse impact on the educational process. The ACLU agrees that bullying or terroristic threats can be disciplined, but otherwise they say students should be free to voice critical, unpopular, and even offensive opinions. The Supreme Court will decide this case later this spring. John Delano, KDKA News.